Thai News that the incidents of police brutality and torture in the country are reminiscent of the apartheid era. Oni Kazrils joined the anti-apartheid movement in the 1960s and served in former President Nelson Mandela's government. He's among a growing number of ANC veterans who've become deeply critical of the current government, particularly by the violence that we're seeing from police officers. Sky Special Correspondent Alex Crawford reports. An onlooker films as a young woman screams for help. The man pinning her down is a policeman, and in South Africa, that often induces sheer terror. The second woman's her mother. The recording stops as the police officer reaches for his gun. Nazneen says she was dragged out of her house accused of playing loud music. She's now been charged with assaulting the police. Luckily, he was filming on his mobile At this point, I'm basically laying flat on the floor. He's on top of me, strangling me. My mom's obviously trying to get him off me. We had a second cop then pulls her aside. She's still traumatized. I don't know. I honestly have no words to how that felt. The worst feeling ever. If the, if the police can treat you like this, and if you put, well, if you're supposed to trust them, how? How, how can you trust people that just take advantage of you and do as they please? It is shockingly not unusual, but for those like Ronnie Castrols, enough is enough. He served in the first democratically elected government under Nelson Mandela, and he knows Madiba would not approve. The Mandela I know would have been absolutely outraged at the um, police brutality that we see, the shootings at Marikana, and he would have been waving his big finger out of his retirement at uh, the leadership of the ANC. Nobody can be happy about this. Then again he starts doing it harder and harder. Selwyn and Kerwin are two others accusing police of abusing their powers. They say they were arrested for no reason, tortured and repeatedly beaten with a police whip known as a shambok. And how did your back feel at this point? At this point it was burning. Have you ever been to a point where you can't even feel, feel the pain anymore? See, and it's like, if you don't cry, they eat you harder. So now you must cry. He came back and put a plastic over my head. Couldn't breathe. He smothered me with the plastic. That's what he did. He smothered me with the plastic. I couldn't breathe. That's what Mr. Selwyn told him. Don't do this. Please don't do this. I took my finger. I poked the hole in the plastic. Opened my mouth. He took the plastic off my head. He told me. He, he took out his knife. A black knife. I won't remember. I won't forget. A black knife. He had a small black knife. He opened it. He told me, I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Neither was charged with any offence. The police are already under investigation for the shooting dead of 34 striking miners at Maracana. Eight months on, none of the police involved have been suspended or disciplined, and the independent police watchdog has identified nearly 200 cases of surviving miners who were arrested and tortured in police custody afterwards. But police managers insist brutality is on the decrease and the high crime in South Africa means unique challenges for its police force. Most of the police officers are law-abiding um, law and, and, and well-serving police officers. And they're getting the accolades, they're getting the accolades um, from the community. It's here and there where we, we, we have these bad apples that, that, that comes through. And we deal with these, um, with these bad apples in terms of our disciplinary um, processes. But many like Stephen disagree. That's not his real name, and we've obscured his identity at the request of his lawyer. He's suing the police minister after being held without bail for more than two years accused of burglary and being forced to sign a confession he says was tortured out of him. They put the plastic bag on into my head and then they put the pepper spray. And you must understand that pepper spray it was burning, like burning. Man. Uh, I nearly vomited that time. Then I collapsed from that moment. For many, the new South Africa is a lot like the old. Alex Crawford, Sky News, Johannesburg.